My name is Jill Bright and I'm the um, volunteer executive director and actually the founder of the Diaper Bank of the Ozarks. I support and believe in the Diaper Bank for many reasons, but mostly it's for that baby. It's for the cry of that baby as they lay in a wet and soiled diaper. It's knowing that that child does not have a voice and that I and we at the Diaper Bank can be the voice for that child. Pregnancy Care Center supports the Diaper Bank of the Ozarks because they provide such a vital need for our clients. Because it does help single parents like myself um, provide for your child and people don't realize how hard it is to like raise a kid on your own. It's almost like the diapers are kind of a symbol of hope because a lot of them just have no hope when they come in and mm -hmm. you know it's unplanned, they don't have the support, they don't have the finances. I support the Diaper Bank of the Ozarks because a lot of families and single moms have a lot of issues with money and just providing for their kids and diapers is one thing that you can't live without but you go through probably the fastest. I support the Diaper Bank at the Ozarks because I was looking for a volunteer position locally that would help the community. Um, and I have a baby and it just seems sort of close to heart. There's a very strong connection between unplanned pregnancy and diapers and it, it may not seem like it, but they need a lot of emotional support. And so they're looking at their future, all these unknowns and uncertainties. And so when they get that pack of diapers, it's that's just one thing that lets them know, okay, I'm not in this alone, number one. Number two, I'm gonna have that support financially and just emotional support that I'm gonna need. They've taken a big burden off us, like a huge burden. It's like helped a lot. Like change our mind and like, like a very special way, change our mind. Um, I remember one time a mom was very hesitant to even accept the diapers because she wasn't sure what she was going to do about her pregnancy, whether to keep the baby or to terminate. And the day that she decided, you know, I, I think I can parent this baby and keep this pregnancy and I think I am going to accept that pack of diapers. I mean, her just the change in her and the difference that one pack of diapers was just kind of a symbol to her that you know, I can do this. There's a lot of low-income moms out there that can't afford um, diapers, or that's that's one of my reasons, is I didn't know how I was gonna afford, you know, the diaper bill. I support the Diaper Bank of the Ozarks because it's a huge need, especially in our area, with our poverty rates being so much higher than the rest of the nation. Um, and these babies, they don't have a choice about it. And diapers affect everything from not just the baby's bottom, but from our healthcare system, all the way up to uh, our police call. For those families reaching out for assistance with diapers and coming back month after month, there is a depth that we had not been looking into a depth that we could look into with the collaboration that we have with all of the agencies in our area, providing education for families in need. That's the majority of what Ruthie wears, is diaper bank diapers, and that has been a lifesaver. Well, I support the Diaper Bank of the Ozarks because I just feel like they offer a very vital service to our community. Personally, I was raised in poverty, and I understand how challenging it can be for parents to provide even the basic necessities. For a while I was kind of struggling to buy diapers and it helped me a lot and I think it would help other parents too. It's a really, really good program, help your community and um, yeah, because when he's like a newborn like this, he uses a lot of diapers. Like you guys are the most caring people I've ever met in my life. Like you guys have changed our lives. And even if you aren't a single parent, like it helps so much just because diapers are expensive and raising a kid is very expensive. So it just, every little bit helps. And you're just helping people. Everyone's had kids. You were a kid at some point and you wouldn't want to have gone without diapers just because your family couldn't provide. And blown away <laughs> by the amount of diapers that come in and that go out. And just watching all the people come and pack, the, pack everything and everybody work together and just the events we've done as a team so far just it feels great. Bringing everything under one roof brings our agencies together uh, so that we can all together support our families. Uh, the Baby Hub program uh, it's all about education it's all about helping people to raise themselves up and uh, be able to do better for their families and the Baby Hub is right there helping people to do that. 
I like, you know, that everybody's willing to help you. Uh, my kids loved it. I mean, there was so many different classes to take. Like, uh, there was gardening, there was art. The Baby Hub jumps right in there. They help to work with agencies to provide education. I've learned a lot more than I think I would have ever learned before. And I feel like I came into having a newborn and raising my child with not having as many what ifs just because of all the information they provided. Whenever you have children um, that, that are in families, that need diapers, that need food, um, there's a problem that's there whenever they don't have them. And so that's where that partnership comes in because you have families that are always struggling that are looking for food and other assistance and we want to be there for them and the diaper bank is that partner for us to make the children part happen. And as we support our families, um, we in turn ask for the community to support us in our endeavors, whether it be for diapers going out through the diaper bank itself or for programming through the Baby Hub.